Hi, I'm Daisy. In the last videos, we talked about how to set up stations and how to do the resection. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use N1 Total Station to do traverse. When we got a very difficult site with a lot of obstructions like trees that obscure our visibility, we are required to a traverse. Which means we will have multiple station setups in this site to measure a full DTM. When you are walking for a road or railway project, you would typically do a straight traverse. When you want to go around a building or a garden, you would use a loop to traverse. We should set up a station on every single one of these traverse points. Before we shoot at the next position, we should look back to the last orientation point, then measure again by the other side. It helps us to eliminate the error before we get started, let me tell you what we have. Today, we will work with South N1 Total Station. With Survey Star, powered by Android system, it is powerful and practical for surveyors. First of all, we will set up a station at the first point, which is known, referring back to the other known point as backside. Then, we will set it on the second, third, or fourth point, Finally, we will use the first point or the other known point as foresight to make a loop. Now, let's get started. Select Traverse. Type the name. Okay, now we are going to start our job. Select and cite the other known point as backsight. Now we are going to take a foresight to the next location. Each target should be measured by two times, horizontal left and right. Now let's repeat the measurement by the other side. Here we can got the distance and angle. It's time to pick up the instrument and set up the station at the second point. Alright, our station is well settled at the second point. We should look back to the first point as backside. Go ahead and measure the third point as foresight. Repeat the measurement by phase two. Okay, let's move the station to the third traverse point. Then, we are going to repeat the steps on the third and the fourth point. When we are in the last station, don't forget to shoot a known point as foresight to make it closed. When all the measurements are finished, let's save it and back to the last page. After an adjustment, we can check it directly on the total station or export the file to the other device. Here are the differences of angle, azimuth and distance. Also, the most important is the coordinates of traverse points. After traverse, we have got a few more control points in this site, which means we can walk further than the first orientation. That's what we can do with traverse. If you found this video is informative, please like this video or leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.